Well, as a lot of you and your yards know, Canadian geese are a big problem in this area. They flock to ponds and golf courses, and of course they leave their mess behind. But one housing addition in a Boyd Township has taken a rather unique approach to fighting the pests. News Channel 15 Susan Pavley brings us the story. You'd walk through it, get it on your feet. You walked in the grass, it was all over the grass. It was just a, a disaster. Ken Jurors knows what a mess geese leave behind. Their droppings were all around the grounds at Covington Creek. We used to have around 80 to 90 geese out here on an average day. Steve Harrison was tired of always cleaning up after the birds, so we thought, why not bring in something a little intimidating, a little sneaky, with beady eyes. And they're always looking at you, you know, from any angle. And one by one, the geese left. A lot of times they just stay on the bank, but won't go in the water. But after about a week and a half, you know, the usual 80 to 90 geese we had around here was completely gone. The plastic gator head just floats there, slowly moving around the pond. It's just real enough looking to scare away the geese. It's the cheapest thing that you can find to get rid of Canadian geese. <laughs> They're just going to fly to someone else's pond. Yeah, <laughs> until they get an alligator head. <laughs> That was Susan Pavley reporting. Steve Harrison says he's gotten a lot of calls from golf course groundskeepers and individual homeowners about where to get those gator heads. So for more information, you can visit our website and look for the gator story.